All right. Um, hello. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on modeling a wooden table uh, using the Boolean modifier and a wood texture. So we're going to start uh, with our basic cube here. And what we're going to do is add a couple cylinders uh, to make our the basically hollow out the inside of this cube. So I'm going to press uh, N for properties and start my screencast here. And then I'm going to press Shift A to add a mesh. I'm going to add a cylinder. And here's the cylinder. I'm going to rotate it uh, along the X axis 90 degrees. So R and then X and then 90. Press enter, and then I'm going to press 1 on my number pad. I think maybe I need to turn on, uh, choose, let's see, emulate numpad. Now it should work. I'll save my settings here. And now without my numpad I should be able to change views. Okay, good. Um, so here's here's my cylinder. Uh, I want to scale up my cylinder but only uh, in the Z direction first. So I'm going to press S for scale and then Z Z direction like this. I'm going to move the cylinder down a little bit and I'm also going to make it narrower. So I'm going to press S for scale. We're going to scale in the X direction. Press X and then move it in like this a little bit. And I'm going to scale it a little bit more. S for scale and Z in the Z direction. And then drag it down so that it looks something like that. Uh, so here is what it looks like. I'm also going to make it a little bit wider so I can uh, easily distinguish between the two shapes. So I'm going to press S for scale and then Y and then scale this out a little bit. So now it clearly is wider than the cube. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to make one more of these. So I'm going to press Shift D and then Enter. And this one I'm going to rotate. Uh, press R for rotate and then Z and then type in 90 degrees. Rotate it 90 and press Enter. So now I've got these two cylinders and a cube. And you can see that it kind of looks like a table here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is choose select this cube with a right click and come over here to my modifier menu and I'm going to add a modifier for boolean and this allows you to do a variety of things what I want to do is basically remove the parts of the cube that are taken up by the cylinders so I'm going to change my operation to difference so all I want to keep is the difference between the two shapes and the object that I want it to pay attention to are both of the cylinders. So I'm going to do one for the first cylinder and I'm going to add another one and choose difference again and the other cylinder. So I'm going to apply both of these and now I'm going to delete my cylinders by right clicking and then pressing X and then delete. Now I've got a table here with legs. So I'm going to press 1 to go back to my front view and right click and move it up to about a floor level and I'm going to add in a mesh that will be the sort of floor and background. I'm going to press Shift A and then Mesh Plane I'm going to press S to scale and then scale this outward. Uh, I'm also going to make it into kind of a lighting, use some, some lighting techniques. So I'm going to come down here and uh, with my plane selected, press Tab to go into edit mode here. And then I'm going to choose Edge Select and just right click on this far edge. And then I'm going to press 3 for a side view and what I'm going to do here is zoom out a little bit. 
and go back into side view and five for orthographic view. What I'm going to do is just extend up a little backdrop here. So I'm going to press E for extrude and drag it out like this and then E again for extrude and then E. Let's see what we can do two more times. This will be our backdrop. Okay, and I'm also going to add a modifier subdivision surface. This will smooth it out a little bit so that it has a nice smooth backdrop and then press tab to go back into object mode and change the shading to smooth and I'm also going to make my lighting my scene a little bit wider so I'm going to press S for scale and then X to scale it in the X direction a little bit wider okay and that looks pretty good the only other thing I want to do, well let's let's check it out the camera I guess so I'm going to press 0 to get my camera view I'm going to use the scroll wheel to increase this so it fits my screen and then N for properties and I'm going to come up and choose lock camera to view now I can use my middle mouse button to actually move the camera so I can pan zoom in a little bit move my table until I get a, an angle that I like. Um, I'm noticing that my plane here is too small again so I've still got it selected. I'm going to press S to scale and then X to scale in the X direction. Increase that. Now it fills the screen. So I'm going to move my table a little bit down. Okay, um, so I'd like to set some kind of material um, for this back drop here. I also don't need my properties anymore, so I'm going to press N to have that disappear. Um, let's open this up. I'm going to click on my materials, um, change it from Blender Render to Cycles Render, and add a new material. Uh, I'm just going to pick a, some kind of light neutral, maybe a light brown color. And now I'm going to set a material for the table here and what I want to use is a wood texture and see if I can get it to look kind of like a wood um, wood grain so I pressed use nodes and then for instead of color uh, I'm going to click here and choose image texture and then open and I'm going to navigate to my textures and this is a wood texture that I like to use so I'm going to press open and now that I have that open I'm going to change my view to the compositing view and let's see don't need that top section right now um, over here I'm going to open and then press tab to go into edit mode and then mesh UV unwrap Oops, UV unwrap and then unwrap and you'll see it will show up here. I also like to view this in rendered mode so I can see what's going on. Um, I'm going to pop out of this view and add a light source so that we can actually see what's going on. So I press tab to get out of edit mode and I'm going to press shift A and add a plane lift this plane up here um, move it back a little bit and over scale it up a little bit with S and then I'm going to rotate, press R for rotate um, I'm going to rotate it along the x-axis a little bit and then rotate it press R for rotate and then Z along the z-axis so I'm kind of pointing it in the direction of my scene and for this material I'm going to set it instead of diffuse I'm going to set it to emission so it actually emits light and I'm going to increase the strength to 10. So now when we go back I'm going to select this uh, but when we go back to our compositing view you'll see that it's now the scene has some light in it. And with this selected I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode 
Let me verify that I'm selecting. Yeah, I don't think I have the right thing selected. So I'm going to go back to object mode, select my table here, now press tab. Now my uh, mesh, or uh, yeah, shows up over here. Now I can change this back to rendered mode. And basically, you can experiment with the size and see how it affects your image. So I'm going to press um, S over here and scale it down and see how that affects the appearance. Um, generally, I think it's looking better when it's smaller. Looks like a more realistic wood grain. So I'm going to keep going smaller and maybe leave it at that. And you can also press R to rotate it, see if that, how that adjusts the appearance. You can also press G for grab, move it to different parts of your texture, and see if anything changes with that. So you can play around with, with that however you like. You can find textures online um, if you just search wood texture or something like that. Um, okay, I'll stop stop fussing with it. Anyway, go back to the, the default mode, press 0, you can see your scene. Come up here and click on our camera to render it. Um, and then we can render the scene, see how our table looks. All right, so it looks looks pretty good. We got some funny stuff going on with the legs here that may need to be tweaked, but it generally looks like a wooden table. Um, we've got these cool arched legs. You could even play around with the view a little bit. Um, maybe something like this. I want to see the inside. So there, something like that. I'm going to scale up my, oops, still in edit mode, let's go out, of mode. go out of edit mode, choose the background here, scale it up a little bit just so that it fills in the scene, um, and then move my camera a little bit. Now we can do another shot if we wanted of the underside of the table, see how that looks. You want to show off the arches under the table. All right, if you want to save any of these images, you come down here and click Image, Save as Image. Um, but that's the end of this tutorial, how to use the Boolean modifier and the wood, a wood texture. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. See you next time.